Hey everyone, today we're about to do the short trail to the B-52 Memorial. Been wanting to do this for a while. Was up here in the spring. The road leading to it was closed for mud season. They do that every year. Roads are too soft to handle vehicle traffic before June. Tried doing it last summer. Couldn't go up the road. They had a gate closed with a sign saying no vehicle traffic, men working. So they were doing logging up here and they didn't want people in the way since the roads are pretty narrow. You can already see parts of the wreckage. But the main cabin of the plane is further down the trail. That's what the images online show. That's what we're here to see. Horse flies are really bad out here. From satellite images, you can see quite a bunch of stuff scattered in a clearing up ahead. Amazing that's still so shiny. Pieces are everywhere now. Even a piece up there. That tree hasn't even been growing since the crash. Somebody just stuck it up there in the tree. All right, this is definitely what I was seeing from satellite images from the winter time. Only like a five minute walk. Very peaceful with the birds chirping. Still a bunch of people carve their names in it anyways. A lot of bullet holes out here. But they're really old bullet holes because you can see all the lichen has grown over them. place is definitely more than I thought it was going to be. A lot more remains. This is basically a river when it rains out.
All right up here is the other set of the plane's wheels. It's actually quite breezy out and it's eerie. A lot of the stuff is creaking as the wind blows through it since it's such a light metal. Over here are the pieces of the wings. And mechanical parts to move the wings. Yeah, this is what I'm seeing from satellite images. The satellite images of this area are from the winter time, so all the stuff shows up easily on satellite images. There's a whole bunch of just white objects in a field that are reflecting the sun. That's what it shows. It only looks like a field because most of the area is pine forest, but this area, I don't see barely any pine trees, so it stands out. Now this is the majority of the wreckage, but scattered through the woods, hundreds of yards, there's little pieces that can be found everywhere. Even out here, there's a few clogged culvert pipes. Most of the trail is built like a normal trail. So you got the slanted wood to get the water off the trail because it would wash it out if it turned into a river. Here's a culvert pipe. You can see a lot of flow does come out of it during a storm. Definitely needs some maintenance. You can tell the water goes right over it. There's actually even parts of the plane clogged in the entrance of it. That's what this looks like it is. Yeah, there's some rocks in there. Some sticks. Look at all that. Somebody's definitely gotta come out here and dig this whole ditch out. Nice trail leading out here, but I gotta say, every single culvert on this trail, see it's all jammed up with sticks, and that's an old clog, you see? It's being held together by tree roots. And look at the drainage ditch, it's all clogged anyways. Water doesn't even lead there anymore by the evidence. There's one every couple hundred feet along the trail. And look how big the trail is. They could easily drive a piece of machinery up here to clear it. Another one. By the evidence here, water doesn't even get directed to it anymore. One, 20 feet further down, that one water does go through. Oh yeah, the whole thing, all the way through, it's caked shut with mud. Totally through it. Walk down the trail. So the whole drainage ditch is completely filled in. There's got to be another culvert down here at the end. Yeah, there is. Right here, but this one's in good condition. 
because a logging company maintains it. Hope this video was interesting. Thanks for watching. Got a big moose out here. Wow. I can't believe it. This year they are looking healthy. They're not all scraped up like I've been seeing in years past. But also this year, there's no ticks out here. There's like a big boom in the grouse bird population. Oh, there it goes. Okay, this is an awful road. That culvert hump is so bad, it washed out on the sides of it. All right, we got over that all right. This is one of the worst roads I've been on in a long time. Not because it's difficult, but it's very time consuming navigating it. There's rocks all over the place and if I'm not careful, I'll smash the oil pan. Very easy to bottom out. There's so many obstacles, random holes, culverts that are collapsed, and a bunch of washouts that are pretty difficult to go over. There are so many mosquitoes in the car, slowly killing them every time they come over near me. Oh, here's another culvert, speaking of it, and this one is really bad, if you can see that. Yeah, this one is so high. I believe last time I did it, I put the end of the vehicle into the trees like this. That wasn't too bad. More big holes. Potholes on these roads, I would choose any day over asphalt potholes because the edges aren't sharp. It's not like it's just gonna destroy something unless you're going insanely fast. Also driving with that grass in the middle, gotta be careful. There could be a rock hiding in there. So I go really slow. Oh my gosh, this culvert is so bad. The whole road is washed out beneath it. Uh, I don't even know about driving over that. I gotta inspect this first. Get quick, the mosquitoes are so bad. All right. Okay, just making sure it's not undermined. Okay, nothing's washing out. All this erosion is from the street washing that out so I'll be fine going across I just had to make sure because I don't want to be the first one to fall into it big trucks don't pass here anymore so they wouldn't be the a ton of mosquitoes just hitched a ride in here they're all over inside the windshield and I better get them I did bottom out a little bit there it wasn't terrible though I'm not worried